Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with the beginning of my third Total War Warhammer series, The Warriors of Chaos. Now, I already did this episode, and I got it out to you guys, but I was told of some problems, and I also didn't quite like how the episode kind of turned out, so I'm going to be redoing this, re-uploading it, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, it didn't get, it wasn't up for very long before I took it off, so um, that's fine. But yeah, so let's just recap everything. There's a description you can read if you want to. Our faction mechanics are Horde, so if you ever played Attila, we're the Horde factions from that, basically. And we need a... Uh, we, uh, we can have Chaos Corruption go into enemy territory, which has public order problems and can lead to Chaos Rebellions, which is cool. Um, our victory conditions for the long campaign are Razor Sack four different settlements, and we have to destroy these three factions, which shouldn't be a problem. Our playstyle is strong unit roster with armored infantry and monsters, severely limited missile options, strong diplomatic penalties with almost all factions, cannot trade, Economy is heavily reliant on sacking, raiding, and battle loot. Indeed. So we're going to be playing as Archeon today because not very many people have been playing as him. Uh, more people have been leaning towards Kolek, and I'm not very interested in Sigvald, so we're going to be playing as him. So yeah, you can read this again if you wish. And yeah, let's get right into this. I'll see you guys when the... Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just keep talking. Um, oh, never mind. Sorry. Enjoy. The old world. The mortal nations flounder in their own incessant and petty wars. Ignorant of what truly awaits in the North. I come before the mighty Archaeon as a mere minion. For now, at least, the gods' favored champion chooses to hear my advice. I pray to the dark powers that I do not fail him. Despite such a risk, I urge my master that now is the time to march south. The Northmen grow restless. We must harness that and send the tribes in a great tide southwards to flood the old world. Archaon himself, chosen of the gods, will lead the hordes of chaos as we despoil the lands of men and dwarfs. No soul, no matter how blackened or pure, shall see salvation. Yeah, I still think that's one of the coolest intros. Um, definitely. So yes, playing as Chaos, finally. But yeah, the, fir the um, I stayed up all, pretty much like all night to record that first episode. Um, that was a really big mistake. I should have slept for a while and w tried to wake up early today. Um, so that I could have recorded while I was more fresh. But instead I, w I stayed up till like 4.30 my time to play Chaos. I recorded an episode, and when I watched it today, I'm not very happy with it. It, w it wasn't anything particularly wrong, but I just thought I might as well, you know, re just redo it. I gotta start this series off strong, you know. Time is meaningless within the realm of chaos. Has Archeon completed his un oh, his unholy quests, or just begun his infernal journey? It matters not to him, for he is the ever chosen, and is destined to bring the end times to the mortal fools that eke ek, whatever, out their pitiful lives in the south. They will all pay the prices blood, slaughter, and death. Nice. So basically, we're just going to ruin everybody's lives, because why not? It's fun. Excellent. You can see that nice artwork in the background, that giant <laughs> sending a. An Empire Knight flying, that's pretty interesting. Poor guy. And don't worry, we will be cutting out all of the loading screens after this. Um, it's just this one. I wanted to say some stuff, so no point in cutting it out now. But yeah, all battle. Um, well, just any transitional um, loading screen will just be cut out, so don't worry. We will take out those.
are the ever chosen. The Chaos Gods call you to action, mighty champion. Their lust for ruin must be sated. You shall go into the lands of the mortals to spread fear and destruction. The Norse tribes to the west shall fall easily before you. Find those willing to join your cause and slay the rest. Further to the south lie the nations of men. They will resist your advance and for good reason. You will bring them annihilation, mighty lord. Devour the mortal souls to bring the favor of the Chaos Gods. March forth and spread oblivion in their name. Alright, hey guys. So, that is the intro to the Chaos Campaign. So, our first mission is to raise our sack for different settlements. We can, of course, do that no problem should be pretty easy um, and we get 2,000 gold for that so our first target is obviously going to be Barris and Link's camp and you can see Archeon has some pretty strong units in his army so we're gonna go ahead and just march to here because we can encamp with a quarter of our movement left there we go so then we can of course go ahead and do oh, this to upgrade it and we'll be on our way to getting better buildings for Archaeon. Alright. The path to ruinations. We have to spend 2500 on that. Which is a bit of a pain. But we do get some pretty decent uh, things after that. Alright. So if we wanted to, we could also recruit some units. I think I'm going to go ahead and get two Marauders. And then next turn, we're going to attack Barrison Ling's camp. Um, no diplomacy that we can really get into yet, so I will leave that for now. So yes, we're now ready to attack. And of course, like I said, um, like I said in the uh, uh, in the original episode, since this is the first battle, I will be playing it um, because I like to keep to that tradition, even as, even if it is the simple. Anything with this kind of auto-resolve chance, I'm gonna auto-resolve later, but right now, it's the first battle. Let's do it. So I'll see you guys on the battle map. Alright, so we are back. I am definitely not gonna gamble away 24. That is awesome. Um, we're gonna get these guys here. Oh. Okay. Let's get these guys here. The chaos spawn. They'll be here. All right. Looks good. So we have the two units of cavalry on both flanks. They actually have a lot of cavalry, actually. So, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and group them up like this, so that they are given attack orders. There we go. Now let's get Archeon up here. I'm going to go ahead and get my Warhounds to get ready to attack these guys. And we're going to get these guys to harass them. Alright, just look at these Chaos Spawn. Look how disgusting they are. Can you imagine that that used to be some poor soul? Some poor person that was turned into that monstrosity? Yeah, the Chaos Warriors. Archaeon himself. <laughs> it's quite the it's quite the sprint he has there. And then of course there's the Marauders. Um, well, these guys are going right for it. I like that. So the Warhounds are going to chase off a couple of these units. So that's fine by me. No problem. We're gonna go ahead and cast a fireball. Oh. 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 I hit one of my own guys. Oh well. Alright. Let's get these guys flanking around. We may be able to just destroy them from, uh. just with the marauders. Yes. 
Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Alright. So the, the Warhounds are, of course, chasing those guys still. Look at that. They're just sending everybody flying everywhere. Brutal. Alright, now charge them in the rear. And they should break. These weak Northmen have... They have no idea what they're messing with. Alright, so our wolves are going to rip apart these Marauder Horsemen now that we finally caught them. Uh, same over here. This unit's going to break pretty fast. Just like the rest of their pathetic army. That unit's broken as well. Alright, so yeah, it's... it's yeah. Oh, 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 don't break, don't break. Oh, damn. Oh, they broke as well, though. Okay, so the battle's over. Excellent. There we go. A decisive victory. So I'll see you guys on the campaign map. Alright. So we are back. And we got some nice loot. Look at that. Alright, so we're going to sack it. And then awaken that tribe. There we go. We're going to move over there. So I'm going to go ahead and get Root Marcher for Archeon because he is a... He's leading a horde, so I think that would be important to get as much movement as possible. And we're going to go for post-battle loot amount plus 10% for our research. And we are going to end our turn. Excellent. So if we can save up our growth enough, we can get access to the Blasphemous Icon, which would get us Chaos Warriors, and that's what I really want. And honestly, we could even get there pretty soon um, if I was to actually just wait a little bit. So I'm going to come right here. We're going to encamp. Alright, so it's actually going to take a while to get it. But it's be it's still better than nothing. So actually, uh, I'll move I'll move as much as I can because I think you get growth from destroying or from fighting. So okay, so I'll recruit a couple of units. We'll get another unit of marauders. There we go, and then we'll take frozen landing. It's in the turn. We'll take and raise Frozen Landing. So here we go. And we'll take that. No problem. We'll sack that as well to get even more money. Oh, Horde Growth plus two. That's perfect. And yeah, we have to wait till next turn to raise it, which is annoying, but that's fine. Alright, so what is uh, income from raiding, recruitment cost, oh that would actually be pretty good, horde growth. Now see, I think, I almost think doing this would be more worth um, right now than upgrading his abilities, because he's already a pretty good fighter. Recruitment cost minus 3%, that would be actually really good. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that. More, The more growth, the better. Yeah, look how much the growth is going up now. So now only in a couple of turns, we'll get uh, what we want. So we'll end an extra turn. And if we raise this place, we're going to get some extra growth anyway. So we'll get a little bit more XP off killing that again. So we get plus four horde growth, so that's really good. So yeah, in two turns now, we'll get that. So <laughs> it, uh, it's pretty good. I'm going to put another point into that. And now, uh, next turn, apparently we'll get it. Excellent. See? That's be that's good. That I definitely, w I definitely didn't do um, all that in the original episode. I like, I like this already a lot more. So now, I can build that. And our growth is really high, so that's always useful anyway. 
So yeah, once we build that, which will take one turn, we can then recruit some Chaos Warriors. It will make our lives a lot easier taking on these dwarves if we want to. Um, which I think we will. So they're probably going to march an army up, I would imagine. Yep. Crack a track. Buggers. But yeah, now we have... Um, Now we have access to Chaos Warriors, so we're going to recruit some of them. Oh, only two apparently. And yeah, now we have to wait for our growth to go up again, which is fine. Uh, so we have 19 units here, and this place has a pretty crap garrison. It has a lot of miners. Alright, what do I need for agents and stuff? Arcane Vortex, Ruinous Altar. Okay, so the next building up there, or this, okay, not too bad, I could handle that. Not producing any income, oh no, oh well. Uh, so now we have new research, so we'll go for income from sacking settlements. Sounds good to me. I mean, I could just run past them. But the eye opens. The chaos gods take notice of their champion, but rarely do they act in accord. Corn demands slaughter, but Zinch orders a more subtle approach. Melee attack. Of course. Blood for the blood god. Alright, so we have 19 units. They're gonna have. What, like 25? Yeah. No! Depending on what's this, on what what's in this army, it might go good, it might go bad, I don't know. I mean, we could run past them. That is something that is possible. How much do they own? If they only own three, yeah. I might just run past them, honestly. But at the same time, I could, I could be ambushed and get, like, wrecked. But we'll see. Oh, there's an army there. I will not. Disgrace my ancestors. So yeah, now these two armies are probably going to attack me. But that might not be too bad, honestly. We have Chaos Warriors. Uh, and it'll be a pretty interesting battle, so let's see. Let's find out if they do it. Nope, they ran off. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to take that place that they just ran to, then. Do you take Hell yeah. Yeah, our battle chance is a lot higher now. Or a lot higher now? What? Uh, it's pretty high. Look at, look at all those Chaos Warriors. Alright, well, I will see you guys on the battle map, and we will fight these pesky dwarfs. Alright, so welcome back, everybody. I am going to gamble that eight. Yeah! Oh, wow, look at that. Alright, so now we have a strong core. Um, so that's good. Uh, group them up. Now we can use them as the main fighting force as opposed to the Marauders. But I'll probably still send in the Marauders first anyway. Um, so we'll just reverse where they are. Or reverse. Um, switch where they are. Uh, my cavalry aren't going to be so uh, so useful this time. The spawn should be pretty good, but I'll have to wait until you know we're actually engaged with them before I move them in. But yeah. Okay, so they're over here. That's fine. Chaos comes. All right. Right, so what do they have? They have, it's just quarrelers, right? Yeah, so they won't do as much damage as say like hand gunners would have to me, but they still do they still do a lot, and those quarrelers will do a lot of damage to my marauders. So yeah, I probably don't want to use them very much, or put them in a situation where they can take a lot of damage because I feel like they would get pretty wrecked. So here we have the marauders and the chaos warriors coming out of the snow to kill these dwarfs and take their hold. So here we have Kazador Dragon Slayer. He is just he's just waiting to slay some dark men. That sounds weird. Slay some corrupted men, I guess. You know what I mean. 
I'll probably keep my cavalry in reserve until the uh, corollers run back behind the infantry. Oh, they're starting. They're starting to fire. The particle effects on this snow is making it very hard for me to see anything properly. So on the recording, it's probably going to be even worse. Sorry about that. Especially when I move the camera around. All right, so these corollers, we're going to get ready to try to mess them up. Oh, you can see lots of my guys are dying. I don't like that. But once the Chaos Warriors get in there, it's going to be a completely different story. Fireball! Oh, I think I'm going to hit my own unit. Oh, nope. Nice! That actually went pretty good. Alright, right here is the perfect example of what I was just talking about. Charge them! Alright guys, you gotta go, you gotta go. They're dying. Our boys are dying. Alright, we're attacking the corollers with these guys. I'm gonna tell this unit to actually get in the back of these miners just to put some pressure on them. Uh, let's send in the chaos spawn. Oh, I left them all the way back there, didn't I? Yeah, they're pretty far. Alright, let's get these guys into the back of those corollers. Get these guys into the back of those ones. Oh, that was a weird graphical glitch. Did you see that? How the lighting changed? Oh boy. I almost prefer it like this, so I'm just going to try to keep the camera like here, right here. Right. If we can break that unit of corollers, that would be good. There we go. Let's get out of there. Archeon, how many kills does he have? 35 already, no big deal. I will take out these Quarrelers. Alright. Victory is in our grasp. The Dwarfs can't hold on against our might. Oh, Archeon. Archeon needs to get in a duel. Oh no, he's fighting these guys, never mind. Boom, look at the impact on those dwarfs, that's amazing. Alright. They're shaken. Their morale is starting to fall apart. They can't handle this. There we go. Alright, let's get all the cavalry out here. These guys need to get over there. These corollers came back and started shooting at us, the buggers. We have this hero here that's trying to chase my cav, but that's not really going to work. Sorry about that, mate. Here's the marauders charging in. Boom! Even for such light cavalry, they have, they have an amazing charge, don't they? They don't do a lot of damage, but they do knock everybody over and send them flying. So that's precious time that, uh... Their units aren't really attacking me. Oh, well, these guys came. Uh, these guys are back. There we go. We've broken the center. We've broken basically everyone. So the battle is over. There's just um. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say the enemy lord is left, but no, he's gone as well. Close victory, apparently. I wouldn't consider it close. I thought that was pretty decisive. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the campaign map. All right. So there we go. Our close victory against Krakadrak. Wow, look at that loot. Holy cow. That's great. We also leveled up Archeon again, which is good. And there we go. I'm actually liking this uh, this playthrough a lot more. I'm, so, I'm really glad that I uh, re-recorded this episode. So, we could get this money and wait an extra turn, but you know what? I think I honestly just want to raise so I can move on next turn. We'll also get more growth, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And we're going to continue... Maybe to here. We could even attack Fort uh, Stragoff, and then move back up north. But there may be like a there may be a Kislevite army there. I'm not quite sure. But either way, we can't move right now. But what we can do is upgrade Archaon. So we may as well finish this. Um, just just so it's done. Look at that growth in one turn. Wow, that's awesome. Um, we're definitely going to want to go and upgrade this when we can. 
so then we can we can then go on maybe get unholy furnace um, or any of these the chaos troll lair that would be nice um, the arcane vortex stuff like that we could even get forsaken if we did that that would be pretty cool or we could even upgrade this if we wanted to that would be the cheapest and it would give me some good units but yeah anyway uh, we're gonna end another turn This will be good. So yeah, I could attack Fort uh, Stragoff. I think that's what we'll do. Just a just a quick auto resolve next turn. We could upgrade that, but I don't really. I see. I don't think it's really necessary. I mean, the poison warhounds could be good, but everything else is just meh. Not that big of a deal. So I think I'll just avoid it, and I think we'll um, we'll uh, we'll just auto resolve this next turn, and then probably just sack it. Oh, that's what I thought. I knew there was going to be an army. Never mind. Oh, hello. Yeah, I knew there was going to be an army. So we're going to go over to the Tower of Crack, Crack, the Tower of Crack. I don't know. I mean, if the Imperial Army wants to come out and fight me, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to deny them that. Right, I'm going to come over here. Oh, there's actually a full army here. Almost. Mine should be stronger than theirs, though, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, the growth is really high now. That's awesome. What does it say? Characters and... Okay, core. Um... My guys. Why do you come to the frozen north? I can't war coordinate. Um Yeah. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Oh well. So yeah, Archaeon's army is here. And we'll see if either of these guys attack. I would prefer if they didn't. Okay, Kislev didn't. Are the Var going to? Nope. Okay. So the Tower of Crack has... Oh, it actually has a few units garrisoning it. And then they have 16 units here as well. So I'm going to go ahead... Oh, uh, we don't... I might actually want an extra turn of replenishment. And then we can attack that. They're probably they're probably going to be recruiting, but then again I could recruit as well, I can get another unit of Chaos Warriors, why not? Honestly, I could even get rid of I could just uh merge these units and get more Chaos Warriors. Yeah, like that. So we get three units of Chaos Warriors, excellent. Now, they could come out and attack me. I'd be a bit weaker, but that's fine. Uh, research. I think I'm going to move on to this, honestly. 5,000. But then we can get... Um... Ooh, none of this is really that good except for this one. I don't care about any of this other stuff. That's not good. That one's good, though. The sacking settlements plus 20%. That's ridiculously good. Um... Oh, I actually don't even have the money for that. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of sucks that their uh, their upgrade their technology costs so much. Oh, horde growth minus five, really? Ah, oh, we can upgrade to this if we wanted to. That would be pretty cool. But what we're going to do is we are going to attack the tower of crack. Oh, easy. Okay, good. Oh, almost lost the chaos spawn. Holy cow! Look at all that loot. Um, we are definitely going to sack to get as much money as possible. And we're going to raise that tribe so that we're in friendly territory. Alright, and now we're going to encamp as well. So there, perfect. Yeah, I definitely need to get my chaos spawn back. Good lord. They just got messed up. Alright, so it still did that anyway. So I mean, if I didn't want... I, I do want this. So we'll get this and then we'll move on, I guess. 
because this other stuff doesn't mean anything to me. Um, but yeah, should I do this? 1500? We would be able to get better weapon, uh, better units and the exalted hero. And we can also build something here if we want to. Uh, we need more growth for that though. It's kind of interesting that this is the only option for that, like, you have. Like, it doesn't really do anything other than Chaos Chariots. I'm not even really interested in them. Oh, that, the Hell Cannon, of course, yeah. But yeah, I'm not really interested in the, the Chariots, really, if I'm honest. But yeah, so now we have another ally, so that's good. And uh, we will continue on this way in the next episode. So, guys, if you enjoyed, please be sure to give a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you enjoyed this series, make sure you subscribe. Because this, I think, like I said in the uh, original episode, I'm going to try to get this series out once a day um, just because of how awesome chaos is and I'm sure everybody wants to see it more than some of the other factions but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, thank you to Haxo, Nicholas, Johnny, Fish and Andreas for pledging five or more dollars per month on Patreon you guys are the best and I'll see all of you next time goodbye